Space rockets are arguably among the most complex machines to develop. The challenges increase exponentially for larger and more advanced spacecraft, like SpaceX's Starship. Developing such a gigantic spacecraft, SpaceX has managed to progress significantly despite doubts and criticism. However, certain persistent issues remain to be addressed, with the heat shield problem standing out as one of the most stubborn. Recently, these challenges have intensified, raising concerns about their impact on the project's future. In today's video, we'll delve into these developments. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. SpaceX's development of the Starship heat shield system is crucial for achieving the goal of full rocket reusability. The heat shield's primary role is to protect Starship from the extreme temperatures generated during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. These temperatures are high enough to compromise the structural integrity of most materials used in aerospace engineering. To counter this, SpaceX has been focused on advancing a heat shield system that not only effectively manages thermal stresses, but is also durable and reusable for subsequent missions. The idea of using a heat shield isn't new. Past space missions have used similar protections to keep spacecraft safe from the heat. What SpaceX is doing differently is trying to make a heat shield that can be used over and over again without getting worn out. The material they're using for the tiles is based on a type of heat-resistant material NASA used before, but SpaceX has made some changes to it to fit their needs. The tile's hexagonal shape optimizes coverage and minimizes gaps that could allow hot gases to penetrate and damage the spacecraft. This hexagon shape is especially good for fitting over the curves and edges of the Starship. However, despite their efforts to minimize any issues regarding this, SpaceX has been facing many challenges with the heat shields. Notably, during the early flights of Starship, they encountered significant issues with the heat shield system, particularly with the detachment of tiles. In the first flight in April 2023, this problem highlighted the challenges in the attachment mechanism of the tiles to the spacecraft. By the second flight, the occurrence of this issue was reduced but not completely resolved, indicating ongoing challenges with ensuring the tiles' secure attachment. The third flight brought these challenges to the forefront again. During this mission, high-definition cameras on board Starship captured the alarming sight of heat shield tiles, detaching as the spacecraft re-entered the Earth's atmosphere over the Indian Ocean. This detachment exposed the spacecraft to the severe heat of re-entry, contributing to the failure of onboard cameras and, likely, the spacecraft's destruction before its intended splashdown. At liftoff, the intense thrust generated by the rocket's engines, especially the Super Heavy Booster's 16.7 million pounds of thrust, produces a significant amount of heat. However, this heat is mostly external, affecting the rocket's base and the surrounding launch infrastructure. During the stage separation, the spacecraft experiences a brief period of lower thermal stress compared to liftoff and re-entry. This phase marks the transition from ascending through the Earth's atmosphere to operating in the vacuum of space, where heat dissipation occurs differently due to the lack of air. Re-entry is by far the most thermally challenging phase of the flight. As Starship re-enters the Earth's atmosphere from space, it encounters air molecules at extremely high velocities, leading to the compression and heating of the air in front of the spacecraft. This process generates a plasma sheath around Starship, with temperatures soaring above 1,650 degrees Celsius. The spacecraft's speed during this phase, which is more than 26,000 kilometers per hour, increases the thermal stress on its heat shield. SpaceX's examination into the cause of the tile detachment pointed towards several potential factors. Initial hypotheses focused on the attachment points and the welding of pins— but further analysis suggested that these were not the sole reasons. Instead, the challenges appeared to stem from the process required to securely attach nearly 18,000 tiles and the impacts of launch preparations and flight conditions on the heat shield's integrity. In response to these challenges, SpaceX concentrated on enhancing the heat shield system. 
This included design modifications aimed at improving the bond between the shield tiles and their mounting pins. Specifically, SpaceX opted to reduce the tile size and increase their number, which was expected to provide greater durability and a better fit over the spacecraft's complex surfaces, such as the flaps. Furthermore, SpaceX considered reinforcing the pin system that secures the tiles to the spacecraft. Although not directly implicated in the detachment incidents, this measure was seen as a way to bolster the overall reliability of the heat shield system. Each of the Starship flights brought its own set of challenges and lessons. Flight 1, for instance, struggled with engine issues and significant launch pad damage, leading to a series of upgrades for Flight 2. These upgrades included improvements to the engine bay's fire suppression system and the addition of a water deluge flame deflector plate. Flight 2 showcased further advancements, such as upgraded Raptors and enhanced engine shielding, which contributed to a slightly more successful outcome despite ending in an explosion. Finally, Flight 3, while ultimately not surviving re-entry, demonstrated SpaceX's continued efforts, including attempts at in-space tests like the payload door and cryogenic transfer test. Although SpaceX encountered certain challenges during all three flights, each flight test was significantly better than the previous one. For example, the first flight experienced an explosion shortly after liftoff. In contrast, the second flight achieved a milestone by progressing past the separation stage, indicating enhancements in vehicle integrity and system functionality. The third flight extended the operational duration to more than 50 minutes, providing valuable data on the Starship's performance in various flight phases, including re-entry, which is critical for future missions. Given the progress made in each SpaceX flight test, it's exciting to think about what the fourth flight test might bring. Preparations for this next step are already underway, with a recent significant milestone being the successful full-duration static fire test of the Starship Upper Stages 6 Raptor engines at SpaceX's Starbase facility in South Texas. Static fire tests serve as critical pre-launch assessments to ensure vehicle readiness for flight. This test was conducted in anticipation of the fourth Starship test flight scheduled for as early as May. SpaceX has set an ambitious target to conduct six or more Starship test flights within the year. This accelerated testing schedule is part of SpaceX's strategy to deploy the fully reusable Starship as swiftly as possible. However, the timeline for these flights is contingent upon more than just technical readiness. Regulatory approvals particularly the acquisition of launch licenses from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, play a critical role. Currently, the FAA is overseeing an investigation into the incident during Starship's third flight, and the completion of this investigation will influence the timing of future launches. The regulatory process ensures that each flight follows safety standards and environmental considerations. As SpaceX prepares for future flights, including the anticipated Flight 4, the company remains focused on solving the problems associated with the heat shield system. Through a combination of design innovation, rigorous testing, and problem solving, SpaceX aims to enhance the system's performance and reliability. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.